Hello, Gun Nation. Big Johnson coming at you. All right, I have been asked to do this video many, many times. So I'm going to go ahead and do it just to let you know. I have not been able to shoot this one as of yet, but I have another. I have a lot of time behind these PO9s. I actually own two PO9s, the Urban Gray one, and this was a black one, but it has been uh, done up by Slotwork Engineering and Warpath Frameworks. So we'll kind of show you a little differences between the two. A lot of people have said, we know you love the PO9. What do you think about the P10F? You know, this is kind of going to be a little bit about that. Um, and my experiences with both and kind of going from there. Now, I am going to get a, a, an opinion, a kind of an open opinion about the PO9 because I've got so much time behind it. On this one, the P10F, I have 2,400 rounds through. Um, so I can give you a very good idea about it. And I'll just give you my opinions on both. So we're going to do a little comparisons of the two because that's what I've been asked. So we could kind of call this the P10F Optic Ready versus the PO9 Optic Ready. I didn't want to really compare the two until I had optics on both. And I have that now. And I will be shooting this one, uh, the PO9, just to let you know, to kind of compare it. But uh, I'm just going to give you my opinions now with dry fire and things like that and the dot differences and kind of go from there. But uh, just to let you know, uh, Harry's Holsters does have both holsters available for this. Uh, this is the PO9, or excuse me, the P10F Optic Ready. Been running it in this, and I have carried this. So this has been carried. Uh, there's that. Really love that holster. And then here is the PO9 Optic Ready. In a Harry's Holsters rig also, I do carry appendix, and I carry the PO9 quite a bit. A lot of people don't know that, but I do. So there's that. It's got the wedge. It's got the claw, the clip. You know, you can adjust it and move it around wherever you want. It does have the optic ready cuts on both and had no issues with those. So if you're interested in a Harry's holster, you can use my discount code. It's Big Johnson, capital B, capital J, all smashed together. Just make it one word and that'll get you 10% off your entire order. So there's that. Well, we'll move the holst holsters out of the way, kind of get down to the guns. And everybody's like, okay, between the PO9 and the P10F, which one do you like best? <laughs> well, I love them both. So that's a really, really tough one. Would I dump one for the other? Mm, that's even hard to say. Um, I really love the double action, single action. Okay, on this one, you know, this is the PO9. On this one, in single action, you're getting like three pounds, five ounces on your single action pull. Double action is a little stout, uh, but of course, you can put the, the uh, Cajun Gun Works, you can put the CZ Custom Springs in it, you can bring that down. I've kept mine stock for now, but I will probably put some springs in here and see how I like it. But I love the PO9. P10F here. With the trigger pull and single action, you're like four pounds, eight ounces, uh, which is really, really nice. And with a striker fire, you're getting a constant trigger pull all the time because it's striker fire. So here, you're going to have double action or single action. And a lot of people over -est or they kind of over-exaggerate the double action, like the double action kills me. Oh, it's just crazy. Well, if you think about it, okay, you rack it. You decock it. That puts it in the half cock position, which brings down your poundage. You pull through it one time, and these both these pistols are unloaded. One time, boom. Every pull after that, and of course these are 19 plus one, so you're going to have one pull in half cock double action, or if you choose the safety mode, that's fine too. And then you're going to have 18 rounds at three pounds six ounces, sometimes even less. Uh, this gun is actually less war in than my Urban Gray. Um, my Urban Gray, I've gotten pulls out of three pounds, four ounces in single action. So you're gonna have 18 pulls of single action if need be. Uh, at like three, you know, 3.4, 3.6 pounds, or three pounds, six ounces. Here, you know, four pounds, eight ounces. No big deal. They're both shoot great. Uh, as far as size, let's see. This is the PO9 full size, P10F. We'll just stick them kind of side by side. Okay, a little bit more length. No, actually they're the same. Same on the grip, same on the barrel, same on the width. 
So very comparable in size. Only difference is here you have a true beaver tail. Here your hand goes up under there. So it still goes way up under there on either one of them. I'll show you that. No big deal on either one. This beaver tail is a little more comfortable, I guess you should say you could say, but either one are fine. Both have really nice undercuts up under here. Both of them have that. Both of them have really large trigger guards, so if you need to shoot them with gloves on, you can. Both of them have front serrations and rear serrations. However, I will say the P10F has better front serrations and better rear serrations. So these are actually better. If you'll notice, they kind of come all the way down here where the P09, they're kind of more up here. This is kind of a more squared off slide on the P10F. This is more of a rounded slide. Uh, however, like I said, I've had this done. So they did accent, you know, the serrations across top and they cut the port in it uh, for me. So, and added stippling because the P09 stippling from the factory sucks. I'll just be honest. This stippling or this texture on the P10F blows the P09 out of the water. It does. Is the P09 unshootable? No, no, it's not at all. But with the stippling on it, it's actually much better. Uh, this is the factory grip and the medium back strap that's actually kind of been smelted, I guess, into it. Uh, of course, you pull your spring out from the bottom, so that's not a big deal. This has the large uh, back strap, and to be honest with you, this kind of is more rounded. The P10F is more rounded. This is like a little more squared off, but it does have the round in the back. So I'd say here kind of feels a little more, if you can imagine a two by four, I guess, a rounded two by four, where this is a little more rounded on the sides also on the P10F. So, you know, they both feel fine. I'm trying to kind of give a comparison like right out of the box. They both feel great, you know, especially with the stippling. Um, as far as weight, P09 is definitely a little heavier, uh, definitely. And this one does have the uh, rear uh, sight that I added, the Delta Point Pro rear sight. And I'm going to get the suppressor tall sight for it. And I'm going to get the suppressor sights for the this also uh, as soon as they're available, kind of like a co-witness sight. Um, this one has a much larger Picatinny rail. Now, and a lot of people say, well, why does that matter? Why do you need a larger Picatinny rail? This one has a shorter Picatinny rail, but you do have two, so you can move your light more forward or closer to the trigger guard. To be honest with you, and most holster makers set up to where it's you're putting it right here, so it's all the way up here. When I run a light, I usually pull it to this one because I have longer fingers and the buttons are up here. If I put it here, it crowds me. So the buttons are actually a little too close. So I do like the light actually a little farther out. That's just my opinion. So your hand size, your finger sizes will definitely vary. Taking them down, this one's, you know, Glock-ish. This one, you just pull it back, line up the lines, push the pin out, not a big deal. They both come down very easily. Um, you know, as far as kind of like the I guess the kind of like a, a help or helper magwell, you know, it doesn't have an extended magwell where it sticks out here, but the bevel inside, they're both beveled. Um, I would say your P10F is probably a little thinner. Uh, if that matters, you've got a little more thickness here, but I would say the beveling on the P10F, the beveling is actually better. So that's probably a plus with the P10F. Um, as far as shooting, they both shoot great. It's depending on what you like to shoot. Do you like a striker fire? Do you like a double action, single action? That's going to be completely up to you. You know, I couldn't tell you which one to get. Uh, it would not. It would be really unfair of me to even tell you which one to get because every one is going to be different. And that's the great thing about America. We have choices. Um, it all comes down to what you prefer. If you want a striker fire, I would say go with the P10F. Go with the P10C, whatever you like. Uh, if you like a double action, single action, I'd say go with the P07 or the P09. You know, they're both fantastic guns. Um, 
I, bu I built this one, or I wanted this one built. I didn't personally build it. Uh, again, Slideworks Engineering and Warpath Frameworks did this one. I think they did a fabulous job. I didn't want it to be like anyone else's. I wanted it to be mine, and definitely everybody would know it was mine, and I think, think they've uh, succeeded in that. But, um, you know, it, it really comes down to what vision you have and what you're going to use it for. But what I built this one for is I wanted a double action, single action, inexpensive that I can compete with and carry optics division. This one will do it, no problem. And I actually enjoyed this. I shot one full match with it and it shot great, ran perfect every single time. On my P09, in the past I had shot matches with it and outlaw matches and uh, done did very well with it. Um, I just wanted it to have an optic on it and they don't come optic ready so that's why I wanted this one done. So I would have more guns with more optics and as you'll notice this is the Delta Point Pro I believe it's the 2.5 dot um, but I wanted to kind of have a comparison between the RMR and the Delta Point Pro Delta Point Pro definitely has a larger window uh, taller so under recoil it makes the dot go up and down and you're less likely to lose it in the window with the RMR you will definitely lose the dot it will leave the window even if you put the Gorilla Grip on it and have really great recoil and I have pretty good recoil management even at rapid fire but the the window is smaller so it does jump out of the window at the top a little quicker um, where the Delta Point Pro it holds it in there a little better but these are just my opinions you know let me know what you think do you like the P09 do you like the P10F better do you like the P10C better or do you prefer the P07 you know I'd love to hear your input below but I appreciate y'all watching. I am going to get a lot of time behind the Carry Optic P09. I'll be able to give you more um, input there. But right now, as far as the P10F, I am loving it. I am loving it. And the cool thing about both of these, this is the P10F mag. It's got the four cuts in it. It will work in both of these guns. That's another reason I did the P09. So I could use the exact same mags. So as far as a backup gun, I can carry this P09 holster or the P10F holster. I could switch it out real quick and still use the same mags. So that is why I chose to do the P09 with the P10F. So, and I know that one's a double action, one's a single action, but I have no problem shooting either one of them. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. Thank y'all very much, and remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on.